Hello, everyone. Welcome to an informative session on public and dissertation. I'm very sure you're all familiar with the concept of dissertation and the possible effort that would be going into getting a dissertation in its final shape. You might be a master's student in the process of getting it to your dissertation in its form, or you might have already done with your dissertation and looking at ways to ensure it's out there in the market. The best way to get your research out in the public is to publish it. And there are different means and ways in which you can possibly look at it. This is not a new area. And most of the universities, especially to the West, have discussed this in depth. YouTube has a whole lot of information sessions given into it. And also you can find materials connected thereby. The idea of this particular session is only to provide you a quick start so that you have a platform to explore and know what it takes to get your dissertation into a publishable form. Without much delay, let's look at different variety, different ways in which you can get it out to the market. So what when we talk about dissertation, we are looking at the master's level research publication that you are working on. Now, the very interesting question that you would have in mind is, should it be published? Now, let's say you have a research topic that you have in hand. It's not necessary that all of your research topic must be in a publishable form. Now, the question is, if it should be published or not is purely optional and personal. On a high end or from an academic point of view, it is one of the best ways to have an academic credentials added to your name. It provides a publication in form of a monograph or a book that can showcase your academic work. Publication not only talks about your academic credit, but it also talks about your personality, your way of working and your ideological principle that helps people identify to you. So in all probability, if you have an option of publishing a dissertation, it is always a must go. But of course, there are various factors that you need to consider before going ahead with publishing your dissertation. And let's look at some of the ways. Some of the ways that you can have a publication from a dissertation are, first is journal articles. A standard dissertation would invariably consist of two, three journal articles, right? Second way and the most suitable, most commonly accepted way is to publish it as a monograph. Usually in most of the dissertations are written in a monographic form, which focuses on a specific area and findings of that specific subject area. We shall come back to that. And the third and most you know, most praised way of doing it is to have a book that's published from your dissertation. Now, let's say, how do we decide to go about it? Let The highest disclaimer is not every research of yours can be in the publishable form. You might, would, you might have to cut out areas that's not interest to the audience. It might have a lot of information that's not necessarily useful, maybe not relevant. It might be that you, the, writing style would be different from something that could be published. So it's very important to first decide if the area, the choice of your topic, choice of area and choice of writing is in a form that can be made available to the public. Now, who's to decide? Yes, ultimately the authors to decide, but your grades, your mentor, the university will give you through their feedback, helping you understand if what you work on is in a publishable form. So it matters to how you are evaluated, in what way, what is the um, novelty that you're bringing through your dissertation submitted. Right? It, especially for those who are at the early stage, it's a good time to consider this while figuring out your research topic to see that you make sure you come out with a dissertation that could also be converted to a monograph or something that can be brought out as a publishable form. Right. So there are various factors that you could consider once you decide that your dissertation is of a publishable material. The first and the foremost is would be your target audience, though you are writing a dissertation with the mind of evaluators and obtaining a degree. The moment you would want to consider it to be in a publishable form, you will have to go beyond just the evaluation committee. You will have to consider who would be your target audience. Whom are you looking at? Are you looking at the students? Are you looking at those in the industry or expertise? Are you looking at other peer researchers? You would also have to keep in mind the editors and the publisher whom you would want to get in touch with. 
Second most important thing is what is that contribution that your research publication would be contributing to? We are all aware that a dissertation would have standard elements to it. The historical part, the conceptualization, theoretical framework that's already existing in the market. Now, what is important to understand is what would be your research contribution to the existing pool of knowledge going to be? Identifying the existing pool of knowledge would also help you identify, would you want it to be a journal article or a monograph or a book, this try, which would help you identify the writing style. Now, if you're a person who already have a dissertation in hand, I try to identify what is that area of contribution that you've already made. Is there sufficient material for you to work on to make it in a monograph or a book? Or can it be contributed as a journal article? The third important thing then would be to look at who are the competitors in the similar field. Now, let's say we're taking an example of a topic on the idea of experiential legal education. While working on a particular dissertation of that level, it's important to understand the existing literature, books particularly or monograph in the particular area. Who are your competitors? More than it would go beyond a literature review. A literature review becomes a crust, but it is to see, yes, I do have these literatures already existing, that my contribution would be from a specific or a different angle. So it's important to understand who are the publisher competitors, the book competitors that you're looking at. And the fourth important thing that you would be considering is the jurisdiction where you want it to be published. It could be a national or an international jurisdiction. If particularly, it could be regional as well. So it's important to specify your jurisdiction before you go ahead, before you consider the idea of publication. Now, when you're looking at publication, let's look at the different ways in which you can bring out it as a publishable form. The first one would be the journal article and the most suitable. In a dissertation, you would potentially have two through three journal articles that you're looking at. This would help you, uh, the process being relatively easier. I would say, of course, it has its prior review and challenges, but you can always break down your areas to see what is the potential journal that you want to provide into. Providing a background of the study which are the areas that you would, so would you want to look at it from the conceptual conceptual framework? Would you want to look at it from the theoretical framework uh, or the legal framework or comparative study? Or would it be focusing on the findings that your dissertation has contributed based on which you will be able to break it down into understanding what is the area that you specifically want to channelize to? That you dedicate a couple of months, say three to six months, figuring out the three to four articles that you could send out to different journals of your concentration. And the second most common and most feasible would be a monograph. A monograph is nothing but a publication which is on a specific area in a specific line, usually in the angle a dissertation has been worked on. A dissertation works in a similar means to look at a specific area of study in depth and come out with a finding that can be treated as an academic contribution. That is a similar line on which how a monograph would work. This would be a consideration that most of the researchers could consider on, which would require very limited uh, shaping of the dissertation. Looking at if it's an empirical, definitely would have to restructure it to suit out the structure of your public publisher as they require. The third would be in the form of a book. It's important that you need to provide about a depth of understanding how this book is going to stand out. It would be more elaborate and would be more content oriented, which is subject specific and would also require a lot more conceptual strength into that book. This is usually all boiling down to how do you structure out a proposal? So a proposal would be required in case you're looking at a monograph or a book publication. In case of journal article, it's a relatively more direct process, which you are already familiar with. So you could consider breaking it down to four and moving on with that. But if you would definitely want to move forward to a monograph or a book, one thing you need to keep in mind is about preparing a book or a monograph proposal, which is different from definitely different from your research proposal. 
most of the publishers would have this standard format of book proposal, right? So which is something that you will have to go back and refer to. But to have a give you a quick view on how it worked, a book proposal is nothing but a means to an end. It's about giving the publisher an idea or rather in engaging the publisher in an entertaining and exciting way to see that your book or a monograph has something solid to contribute and they have a potential market or a revenue that could be generated from this particular publication. It must be something that excites the editor and the publisher that they say, okay, they see something that is strong in hand. Always remember while submitting a book proposal, you must have a clear idea about how your book is going to shape out. Because anything that's going to take a longer than a six month is likely to kill the excitement in the publisher that you're contacting with. Though the proposals may differ with the uh, press, it's there are certain standard factors that you will have to look at. The first one is how does this particular publication, which is a monograph or book, would support your area of research or that existing area? How does it contribute to, again, the pool? Second is to say, are there already books in this particular area? How are you distinguishing yourself? Third is to see who are your target audience. So when you reach out to a publisher, they would want to see who are the people that you can market to. What is the market force that they have in hand to sell these books to? So you must be clearly able to distinct lay down the chapterization, contents of the chapterization. How does it suit? through the knowledge pool, whom are you writing this to? How does it benefit the reader? How do you see your book in its fullness? What is that this book is able to contribute and generate a revenue in? So it's important to note that these publishers look at it as a product of sale, right? It's more than the intellectual contribution. It's also important to establish the economic contribution the book can showcase because they are going to be investing in your marketing and other process. There are publishers who would give you a writer's fees if they find that this book is worth investing in. So it's important to sell out your product and convince them that this is worth investing in. Now about approaching different publishers. Now approaching, there are two types primarily that you can look at. First is about a traditional publisher. So usually with dissertation, there are dedicated publishers like the Springer's sake that focuses on converting dissertation to monograph who encourages such publications. So they should be your primary focus too. Then you could also reach out to the university press who would be excited to bring out these publications. Because compared to certain other publishers, traditional publishers who look at it from a textbook point of view, which is most less likely to be a case in case of a dissertation. It's always good, good to look at publishers who have the special or dedicated area that will look at dissertations and people or press that engages with the university directly. University press is one of the areas that you could reach out to, especially this is where your jurisdiction matters. Now, a scholar from India cannot re make reach out to a publisher, let's say, Leiden University Press, if you're able to convince that your audience is more global, or rather you're considering the or target audience that the university press has access to. Compared to if you have a very regional topic, it doesn't absolutely make sense for the publisher to consider your aim. There are quite a lot of public uh, researchers who have got their publications done through Oxford University Press, Cambridge University Press, where they're able to convince that even though the area is regional, it is a subject matter that could have a global benefit, right? So it's about convincing the publisher to say that these principles can be used by the target audience on a wider reach. So these are the areas that you could possibly one reach out to. The other way or alternative way of publishing is of course, one is self-publishing, which is gaining its prominence and other publishing houses who support these self-publishing like Notion Press and otherwise. Of course, 
they are much more expensive in the process about taking the initiative where you would have to make an investment in case primarily not just about designing and setting out your book but about marketing and ensuring it reaches a wider market it's about getting a penetration into the market and getting a larger audience if you're looking for it as a revenue generating material but otherwise of course if you're looking at an open access and in terms of your revenue would relatively be of course you can depend decide it according to your um, cap economic capacity or how much would you want to invest in it now another factor that you could consider that would be a consideration is most of the time at least in the phd level your thesis is are made public how do you make all these uh, documents would be made available by the university through their portal and it's not in conflict with the copyright in most cases the copyright of the dissertation lies with the uh, researcher itself and otherwise again this could be clarified and any ways the dissertation would have an alternative working that gets involved in it so therefore it doesn't get in conflict with what is that potential publication that is going to be this is a case for journal articles also so most of the time researchers are mistaken to think that their findings because it comes in the dissertation would affect the academic integrity rest assured it does not fall into a case of lack of academic integrity rather you are eligible to make sure these findings are published in a tier one tier two rather white journals and the journals have clearly stated that you can go back and refer on them now what is the time duration that we are looking at we are looking at a dedicated time to 3 to 6 months that you invest your energy to transform the academic writing to that is suitable for the target audience now for which you would have to definitely look at similar kind of readings which i shall put out in the comment boxes for your reference or i can share it with you through mail right so you can see how these are structured and how these books are structured and most of the time uh, publishers like springers and safe make sure their materials are open access and they make sure these samples are made available on their sites for the researchers to look at so dedicated time to restructure your dissertation to 3 to 6 months should help you work out but most important that than this is to dedicate at least 3 months of your time to prepare a compelling book proposal whom you can find a internationally reputed uh, publisher right so now this is just a quick overview about publishing your dissertation every area that we've discussed here requires an in-depth analysis and understanding while going through it at any point you face challenge please do not hesitate to reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to support you through review of your big proposal brainstorming through your idea of publication and however you can bring it out to a final form right so let's take this up for discussion and hope to listen to your questions in the coming times thank you